So, uh, this is the next day after the uh, working on the window, and I showed you guys it had that little crack in it. Well, these doors shut that you don't have to slam them hard when you shut them, and uh, they tend to if you just push them closed they still slam because if you just let them close they actually do close so you don't have to slam them and with an old truck that's pretty contrary to what your brain thinks you think okay it's old truck doors not gonna shut good you're gonna have to slam it these doors you don't have to slam and when you do slam uh, you know, of course it's loud in the cab, but then since the window was already, it had a crack going like this, but then it cracked more. Uh, it cracked really bad. It, it cracked through earlier uh, today. So we put tape on it so when I shut the door, I don't get glass all over myself. Got my license plate on it there. And then we got to put a, uh, got to put a return spring on on it because the gas pedal sticks really bad like when you're when you're driving and you got to let off that pedal uh, for the overdrive to kick in that's what this is is the overdrive so you just always leave that on you don't have to worry about it and um, so we got to put a uh, spring in it so I'm not gonna drive it today so, See, now you can actually see that pin. Yeah. I was surprised when we found the spring in it. Me too. Because the way it was sticking, I didn't think there was a return yeah, spring. I in didn't it. either. But there's no way impossible. I think you're spraying under the mat there. I'm trying. There's a folded piece of leather, or rubber, I mean, uh, behind this pedal here. Mm -hmm. And I think, there you go, now you're... Like, oh, I just, I'm trying to spray all over, pal. Okay. See how that springs back nice? Uh-huh. Okay. I think that spring that's on it is, uh, maybe too big, or... I don't think it's big enough, because it's not pulling it back. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. if, it's, if it's too big, it, it wouldn't stretch the spring out enough to pull it back. Yeah, it's too long. <laughs> With that light there, yeah. 
the bottom of this hood's not black, it's dark blue. Wow. That's the color this truck was, mm -hmm. was dark blue. <laughs> Guess they thought it was close enough to black, yeah? Good, close enough they didn't have to paint it, yeah. Because okay. Cuban tan is definitely not anywhere close to dark blue. Yeah. So, they must have thought it made it look black. The, the place we're working is, of course, where it leaks oil. Yeah. See, there's the spring down there. I decided the emergency brake works. It didn't roll back you, um, when, we, when I parked it here. That's why I parked it up here. Mostly, because I wanted to see if the brake worked or not. Let me see that for a second. All right. Yeah, see? This big screw here that I just tightened up, uh -huh. just goes up in there, that's all. It does? Yeah, see how it comes through there? Uh-huh. See, I didn't know how it went in there. Okay, I'll, I'll get a Phillips. Okay. Oh, it comes through the back? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Like that there. That's enough. And we'll stick her down here in the socket. That ear going in. Mm -hmm. Push down. Man, there's not hardly enough room for my finger in there to twist it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little modification. Does that light bulb fit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be the right one. Turn on your lights. Right now. See, it stays on all the time, like I said. Oh. Uh, no, let me. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so if the key's on, light, yeah. light must stay on. Mm -hmm. That's probably what that rubber thing, like you said, that rubber thing that broke off around here. Yeah. Although I don't see what that really does. Wait, watch, don't get this on you, bub. It does flash. That's what okay, I was. Okay, I'm gonna go get a um, yep. screwdriver. Okay. Take this back. This back. So when the key is on, this light bulb stays on. And I haven't showed you guys this since I polished it up, because it was all gray and dull and kind of brown like the rest of this. And um, we polished it up, and the United States on there, which were black as the steering wheel are actually kind of brass get out in the sunlight and you guys can really see it shine and then the all state thing there that's where the light shines through and it fits on there kind of funny where are you at you sucker Okay. Good. Since it's pop metal, I didn't want to break it. Sure. You know? well, I understand. Just have to be careful with it. Mm -hmm. Where are you, you screw? Is it tight now? Mm -hmm. All right. Wait. Okay. There you go. See, it's on all the time now. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to try to tighten that uh, bracket up that holds this on. Right. See how it moves around? Mm hmm. The windows aren't tinted, but they sure look purple right now, with the sun shining right through them. They look really purple. That one not so much, but this one does. That's the way the light's hitting it. That's good. We got the the signal uh, light replaced and the signal box back on there, and it's all nice and shiny. You can see the difference. This is. The not polished versus the polished. It does look nice. That little light in there is a good way to see if the key's on or not. I don't know what hit my plate last night, but when we were driving around, something put a big dent in the top of it.